There are doubts that Zimbabwe's ruling party will allow a credible election, but that didn't stop voters from queuing up on Wednesday morning. Many desperate for change after two decades of relentless economic chaos. President Emerson Nangagwa is seeking re-election. That's after a disputed victory in 2018. The opposition says that vote was rigged. The outcome was upheld by the constitutional court. Nangagwa took over after Robert Mugabe was ousted in a 2017 military coup. But many of the hallmarks of Mugabe-era economic turmoil have remained. Runaway inflation, currency shortages and sky-high unemployment continue to make life a misery for Zimbabweans. This voter says there's no money in the banks and that she's struggling to send her kids to school. Political analysts say the unending situation could tip the contest in favour of the opposition Citizens' Coalition for Change, led by Nelson Chamisa. That is, if the vote was clean. However, after more than four decades in power, analysts say the ruling ZANU-PF has an unfair advantage as it wields control over the police and other key institutions. Police routinely ban opposition rallies and arrest CCC supporters. Chamisa has said Nangagwa is not preparing to win, but plotting to rig. Speaking after voting, Nangagwa said he was confident of victory. If I think I'm not going to take it, then I'll be foolish. And in Everyone who contests, if you're going to rest, you're going to rest to win. And precisely is what I'm doing. The ZANU-PF and the police have denied seeking to influence the election's outcome. A ZANU-PF spokesperson has accused the opposition of being obsessed with criticising the electoral process so that they have something to say after losing. Nevertheless, intelligence firm Africa Risk Consulting, in a pre-election note, said the electoral playing field is heavily skewed in favour of the ruling party. Five years into Mnangagwa's rule, it said, conditions have not changed much from the Mugabe era.